<laughs> what a dork. <laughs> so, aside from the cheat codes that don't work, or I can't get to work for some reason, also is D-O-R-C-S. You asked for it. What is am I asking for? What's happening to my... Where's my... Oh no! Are we fading out of existence? What is happening to my landscape? Um... Huh! Well, that was... Oh, it's going away. <laughs> Closing the facts. Very slowly. Oh. <laughs> I'm still getting shot at, though. Oh, there we go. It's the developer team. Ah, in <laughs> big head mode. Hi, MechWarrior 2 fans. Welcome to the MechWarrior 2 Sim Pro. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna mute the background noise while I'm doing this. So I'll mute that in post. Oops. Haha! <laughs> that was. Mute, <laughs> mute microphone! No, I meant mute sounds. Welcome to the MechWarrior 2 Sim Programmer Dork's webpage. We hope you'll spend a few minutes here to learn about us. Basically, we are just a bunch of guys who love to code. We get positively. Giddy, G-I-D-D-I, -I. watching the source files stream in after a well-timed dorks co. We spend hours debating age-old questions such as which came first, wasm or unwasm? Why do our game designers insist on using DOS edit, and what does booyah mean? Uh-oh, here comes the all-clear for dorks signal. We better get back to coding. So long for now, MechWare 2 programmers. Zero! This is boring! <laughs> Oh, it's the credits for the for the MechWarrior 2 guys. Hi, MechWarrior 2 fans from John A. Clark. I can't believe it finally over. I can't believe it finally over. English, I speak it. My tour of duty has been 18 months long. I'm looking forward to spending lots of time with my wife, Carol Kodakis, and our son, John Taylor. How come your son's... Your wife and your son don't have the same name as you. Taylor become, became the official mech baby when he was born seven months ago. The delivery went smoothly, except that in all the excitement, I dropped my laptop and lost a few days' worth of source code. Way to go, bro. Thanks to Bill, Dr. Bob, and HP for keeping me sane and sober. Thanks, Carol, for your patience, and Grandma Clark and Kodekas for babysitting Taylor. Hi, John Clark Sr. I'm at... 75022.43 at CompuServe.com! Oh my goodness, CompuServe. That's a name I haven't heard in probably about 20 years. I wonder if that email address still works. Man, could you imagine putting your email address in the credits for a game now, like this? You would get bombarded with all kinds of crazy crap. Wow. I have one last announcement for old time's sake. Attention all programmers, all clear for Dorks Co. Get Giddy 2. G-I-D-D-I. I guess that must be some kind of joke for them. Michael A. Douglas. If I had known six months ago how crazy working on MechWarrior 2 was going to be, I'm not sure I would have done it. But after countless late nights and thousands of ornery bugs, those are the worst kinds of bugs, we finally got a killer game. Yeah, thank you very much. I'd like to thank John Spinelli and John Resnick for bringing me on. They put together the best development team anywhere. I'm glad to have the opportunity to work with them. Most of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Rosalind, for her infinite patience. Not everyone would understand postponing a honeymoon for a game. Well, if it's MechWarrior 2, um, I know what, I, what choice I would make. Michael H. Douglas, D-E-I slash F-E-I-F, mdouglas at Activision.com. P.S. No, I'm not that Michael Douglas. Really? Let's see his, um... 
No, Ji Hun Huang isn't in here. Ji Hun Huang is the guy who did all the music for the game. The wonderful soundtrack of MechWarrior 2 that everybody loves so much. And I thought, I was hoping he would be in here for having some kind of message. Scott T. Etherton! Wow, it's finally done, and what a bitchin' game it is! It sure is. The 15 months I've worked on Mech 2 has been a really interesting and challenging experience. I've learned a lot and had a great time. Thanks to all the members of this incredibly talented team, not only for their contribu contributions to the game, but also for their wonderfully wacky sense of humor. Laughter helped us get through more than once. Help Laughter helped us get through more than once. Mega kudos to my fellow programmers for being an all-round great bunch of dorks. I'm glad to be one of them. Lots of love to my family and numerous good friends, particularly Uncle Unky Bobo and Serpent, who showed me new experiences that helped me grow. Now, if only I had a music career. Scott T. Etherton. S. Etherton at genie.com. Wow, genie.com. I don't even remember that. Let's jam. You must be a musician. So this is pretty cool. You get, like, customized, personalized messages from the developers of the game. This is stuff that you don't see, like, a lot now. And especially not in, uh, what would be considered, like, a big AAA title at the time. They didn't have a term yet, but this would be essentially it with all the big production values and the cutscenes and everything. Sphere H. Husby. We don't know much about this guy except that he lives in Norway and probably has a thick Norwegian accent. He wrote some handy freeware called Gift Save and was kind enough to po post it on the net. You can thank him personally at Sverhuf. Sverhu at ifi.uio.no. I'm going to assume that's some kind of university of Norway. The cool high res screenshots. Of course, high res at the time would be 640 by 480. <laughs> So that's just a thank you to uh, some guy, apparently. Dan Kem Kemmins. Thanks to all, I'd take better advantage of my dorks opportunity trademark here, except for the fact that I have 34 bugs to fix. By the way, I wrote the Net Demo Network Shell. If you liked it, I'd love to hear from you. D. Kemmins at husc.harvard.edu. He's from Harvard. Net Demo, I wonder if that's the precursor to NetMech. NetMech would be the way that you would play multiplayer Mech Warrior back in the day, and you would have to actually dial in directly with your dial-up modem to another person's computer over the phone lines and connect directly <laughs> through your dial-up modem. Man, that was a wacky time, wasn't it? Eventually, they would have online services like Kali and Khan that you could Oh, sorry, Kali and Khan! That you could... <laughs> that you could log your netmech into and it would act as a proxy server for... It was spoof being a... Uh, a TCP IP... No. An IPX protocol. Oh, I can't remember which one it was. It would spoof a network protocol to make it show up as a local area network, so you could pretend it would fool the game into being a, a LAN connection. Which is pretty cool stuff back in, like, the mid-90s and stuff. Played Descent on that. Oh, what else did you just play? Uh, Duke Nukem? Duke Nukem was a big, big game on uh, Kali and Khan. Um... Probably some other stuff. Probably Diablo, I think. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. I didn't get too much use out of it. Oh, Descent, also. Which was always fun when you were lagging in Descent. Of all the games to lag in, that's probably the worst one, too. <laughs> you would see these demo files of people shooting, like, their plasma cannons at, like, absolutely nothing because they dropped a couple packets. Oh, the days of early internet gaming. How I... Don't really miss them too much, but I'm glad I have those memories. Did I say you, John Keating? John drew on his experience defending his turf and scrapping in the gutter and in the gutters as a ch as a kid in San Antonio's roughest neighborhood, Alamo Heights, to create the battle AI for MechWarrior, a mech guy living in a hostile PC world. 
<laughs> he is naturally short-tempered and combative. That sounds like most of the Mac fans I know. For the part of drill instructor, John was influenced heavily by his big sister Paula, as well as huge doses of MSG. Oh, the, the guy who played the drill instructor voice. How about that? That was a cool guy, then. He welcomes your criticisms, offers of sympathy, or any reply from those lacking a Y chromosome. <laughs> at Marshall1 at AOL.com. AOL.com. That used to be a thing. John Miles. This guy wrote all the graphics and sound packages along with John Lemberger. Mmm, Lemberger's. We could dorks co his API with confidence because we knew we were getting high quality, efficient, and reliable code. Once we converted to the world of pains, high res was easy. The DLL loader just made us giddy. G I D D I. We even used it for these menus. Thanks to John for all the support. Yeah, John gets to. Oh no, that's. They're writing about John. Talking all the businessy terms and the code words. Tim Morton. Tim's liner notes. Is it done? Can I leave my cube? Where is everybody? I'm grateful for the friendship of all the people I've worked with on this project from start to finish. This project was a labor of love and at times war for everyone who worked on it. Do you like camping? Haha, <laughs> back when camping meant like actually going out into the woods and not, you know, camping in the spawn point in a first person shooter deathmatch. Tim Morton. T Morton at Activision.com. Bob Mortensen, the son of Morton. I'm so honored. Only three months on the project, I'm, and I'm an official dorks. Of course, I'll have to thank my wife and kids. That is if I can ever remember their names. Hmm, oh yeah. Thanks, Deborah 8 and Timmy 4. That's a lot of kids. But mostly thanks to Helen. Parentheses bracket. Without your support and help, without. With, without your support and help, I never would have been able to contribute as much as I have to this rocking game! Later, Bob M., who has no email address. He's living off the grid. Eric Peterson. Eric no longer works here, but he is really the grandpappy of the Sim Engine. The original concept was his, and he single-handedly wrote the first real mode version, including all tools and much of the art. Without Eric's dedication to Warthink, we wouldn't have a snowball's chance in heck of completing this game. By the way, if anyone sees Eric, would they mind asking him what Booyow means? It must be something that he said. Must have been like his catchphrase or something. Dan Stanfill. Oh, I must have, uh... I must have left the engagement area while I was slowly trundling around. Hopefully I can still keep reading this. Oh, no! Denied! Request denied. You suck, L1011. Now I gotta do it again, huh? Oh, well. I'll cut through it this time. Huh, it's funny, it goes a hell of a lot faster. Oh, you know what? Um, I should, um, I should make myself invincible before, because time keeps continuing to trundle on, apparently. Okay. Yeah, it goes much faster when it's not in time expanded matrix mode. Take the blue pill, Mech Warrior Neo. <laughs> sure, that was picture's much more impressive when it's not in a ginormous resolution. Dan Stanfill. We made it! I want to thank John Spinelli, John Resnick, and Howard Marks for putting together such a stellar team of the project, but more than anything, I want to thank my wife, Kyung Ah, and son DJ, for supporting me during the past seven months and for tolerating my constant absence while we built the coolest game ever! 
I want to thank you, too, for building the coolest game ever. David White. Oh, these are in alphabetical order, aren't they? Hey, wait a minute. How did I get here? I'm a designer, not a programmer. Damn it, Jim. Actually, I'm both. Although my minimal programming knowledge doesn't compare to those who put together this absolutely incredible engine. I am honored to be included among the programmers. Although I did do a little work on the sim, most of what I worked on were the tools. Well, I hope you enjoy the game, and if you have any comments, I'd love to hear what you think of the game. I think it's pretty goddamn awesome, if you ask me. I'm sorry, it's uh, 21 years too late, though. dwhite at Activision.com And Dave Zobel. Dave Zobel was last seen plunging into the darkness beyond the wall of testosterone. <laughs> Ah, okay. That's, uh, that's enough of that. Oh, yeah, I turned the sound back on. I'm getting shot at. Well, that's no fun. And the missiles go flying past my face. And flying. Take this. Take this. Shutting down. Oh, I didn't mean to shut down though. Okay, well that's enough of that. I think you. Why does that keep happening? Critical hit. Internal ammo explosion detected. Heat level. Hey, that's Heat not level. supposed to happen when I'm invincible. Heat level. Critical. Heat level. Critical. Heat level. Critical. That sounds bad. Heat level. Critical. Heat level. <laughs> critical. Level critical. Heat 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 level critical. Oh. <laughs> Mad Dog Brand Convection Oven. Oh yeah, the weapons. The weapons, they don't work no more. <laughs> Ah, okay. What else can we do? Let's take a look at the actual credits. Oh, they go really fast. Oh, crud. Um, I'm just gonna slow those down. <laughs> I'm gonna slow those down when they play back. So you can see them. Wow. That is not fair at all. Like a fire moth with mask enabled. <laughs> <Vroom>! <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm just gonna... Wow, there's a lot of credits in this game. Can't we all just get along? No! Let's get our top scores. Me! I'm the top score. Yeah, I'll go back and play that at the... A slower speed at the end of this video. Because that's going to wrap up this part for me. And I'll be back shortly with some more stuff. Oh no.
Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can also interact with me on Twitter and Facebook at l 1011 widebody And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011widebody.